Welcome folks, this is my Surly ECR. What does ECR stand for? Hell if I know, nobody knows. I do believe Surly probably tossed some darts at a dartboard and those were the random numbers selected. This big bomber, man, it'll do everything. I think E stands for everything because it'll ride road. Look at those tri bars up there. Today I'm doing about 40 miles road and about 10 miles of good dirt single track with some nice gravel thrown in. It's in the weeds because this is where I ride it. Look at those weeds. Look at this trail. This is out behind my house. It's fantastic. Man, this back end, you take that sucker, you can put a Rolf drive on it, a Gates belt drive on it. You can do about anything you want with it. Make it a single speed. It'll handle it. And you then ride it hard. You want to climb a hill with this thing? Great. Stand up and grunt. Make it work. And it will love every second of it. You want to have a nice, enjoyable touring ride? Well, this thing holds two huge surly racks. And I have them. And I use them down Highway 1 or any other of the rides out here. And I can load up 40, 50 pounds of gear. Sometimes it's just a Costco run for the family. Look at these tri bars. Aren't they beautiful? I'll be tucking over those bars in a little bit. A nice, long, paved road. Today's the first day of summer. For me, it's 90 degrees out. I'm getting in a beautiful ride. And I've got a stable of amazing bikes. Hand-built custom bike by Steve Rex. I've got a bike that used to belong to a Tour de France rider. I've got some gorgeous machines in my selection. But for the first ride of summer, I always pull this one off the wall. I ride it with a Brooks Saddle B17. I've got a beautiful thud buster seat post if you haven't ridden one try it i got one to try and i never send it back that is just so much fun these canards everyone i read about on these things say oh, i'm gonna get rid of those i'm gonna put on skinny tires i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that well you go ahead and do that i have never had these fail on me these are amazing look at how many points you got you got right here look at that water bottle down there way at the bottom i've got two more water bottle mounts up here i've got my big bike bag on it this is truly an amazing machine of course your hands you can't forget the grips those ergon cart cork grips i've been, had them on every one of my bikes look at how utilitarian this is look at that old levers but you know what about those old levers they don't break if I was going to ride across the Silk Trail, if I was going to ride down to Peru or up to Alaska tomorrow, this would be the bike I would ride. Yes, it's steel. Yes, it's heavy. But it just does everything and does it really well. You know, I, I got a Salsa Cutthroat that I love dearly, and I will do a lot of riding on it this summer. But you know what? When I want something, I'm just going to go out, grunt, and work up a good sweat on this is actually a little more fun than a nice carbon bike. And that's why it's here in these beautiful weeds. Because that's what it is. It's a beautiful weed. It's tough. It's resilient. It's hard. It will do everything I ask of it all day long and never break a sweat. If I look over and see a road I want to ride, me and this ECR will do it. Have a great day. I hope, I hope every bike rider out there has a bike like this. May not be a Surly ECR, but they have that one tough, tough piece of equipment that they can stand up and grunt on and make it go fast. You want to go fast? Pedal harder. Have a great day, people. Hopefully it's on a bike somewhere. You better like this video you better subscribe to this video and you better ring that bell